everyone, I'm Su Jin. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the difference between Hermes Birkin and Kelly and their current prices side by side. Birkin and Kelly are highly coveted handbags from Hermes aside from the high price. Questionable wait list with the journey is another thing. I have my Birkin 25 Retro Ney Black Ostrich with Rose Gold Hardware and Kelly 25 Cilier Etope Epsom with Gold Hardware. The two may look very alike at a quick glance, but they are quite different. So let's dissect the differences between them. We love stories connected to anything and even so with these iconic bags. Both has a long and unique history. The first of the two bags that came out was the Kelly bag. The Kelly bag was around before actress Grace Kelly. It was Princess Grace Kelly who brought the Kelly bag to popularity. She used the bag to conceal her baby bump from the paparazzis. And that photo was seen by the mass public in 1956. On the other hand, the Birkin came later. In 1984, it was designed specifically for actress Jane Birkin. The story behind the bag begins with a chance encounter on a plane. Jane Birkin accidentally spills the content of her handbag, complaining that it was impossible to find an elegant large handbag. And three years later, the Birkin bag was born. Both are handmade from a single artisan in France. Both come with a lock and a key clochette and the plaque and the turn it, a turn lock system. As you can see on the bottom, they both have four metal feet. The inside of both the Birkin and the Kelly are lined in chev leather. Let's look at the differences of the Birkin and the Kelly. First is the two handle versus the one handle. The handle of the Kelly is a lot thicker and prominent. And it's padded with a flat underside. With the Birkin, the handles are a lot slimmer and rounded in the shape. The handle position is also different. For the Birkin, it is placed on the front and the back of the main facing leather over here. The width spacing is a lot narrow, but taller for the handle. For the Kelly, it is placed on top of the flap with the width spacing a lot wider, but the height is shorter. The handle opening is a lot smaller here for the Birkin. Since the Birkin loses space due to the positioning of the handle being placed below the level of the flap. So this much is being lost. Birkin can only be handheld tote bag and the Kelly can be handheld or over the shoulder with the removable strap that is hooked to the D ring here. When comparing the width, the Birkin is a lot wider compared to the of the Kelly. The flap shape is also different. It is because the Birkin has what is called a pontet hardware here that the Kelly doesn't have. And this allows the Birkin to have a flap with three segments, one, two, and three. And with the Kelly, you only have a single flap. Even though the Birkin and the Kelly both has four metal feet, for the Birkin, there is an extra piece of leather that is present for where the feet are. 
and here you don't have that extra piece of leather. Both Birkin and Kelly bags come in the Retourne and Cellier style. The Retourne style is a softer construction wherein the bag is sewn and then turned inside out, hiding the exterior side stitching. The Cellier style is a rigid construction including a stiffening layer between the outer layer and the inner lining with the side and the bottom stitching clearly visible. The Birkin comes in 20 centimeters, which is the rare Bavar, 25, 30, 35, 40. The Kelly comes in 20 centimeter, which is the mini Kelly, 25, 28, 32, 35, and 40. As the size of the bags gets bigger, the price will increase. The price of a Cellier is always greater compared to that of the Retourne style. When comparing a Birkin and a Kelly for the price, it is a bit difficult to compare since their sizes do not always correlate. But when comparing a Birkin 25 versus a Kelly 25, both in the 25 size, the price of the Birkin is always more compared to the Kelly in the same leather. With the information here, which bag will you choose? Whichever you choose, both bags are great. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I hope to see you back here and thanks for watching. Bye!